Raiders from around the world. What's going on? It's your boy Ricky Cadden back again with another Real Life Stock Review for Real Life Trading Australia. Today is a very gracious day. It's Tuesday and I'm coming at you with another free stock review. I hope you guys like this one. There is a lot of gains to be made. Uh, I just want to take a quick look at the SPY for you guys. We did get a small little tiny little gap down today trade to a new all-time high as usual and then slowly closed out with a doji. Not a whole lot happening. You can see here on the five minute we really just traded sideways. Um, very, very choppy day. However, I do think we are probably going to come back down to the 10. If you take a look at the E-minis, we are slowly trading a little bit lower in the afternoon session here. Looking a little bit more Evening Star-esque. Uh, type pattern right now. So we are looking nice. I don't think the market's going to completely crumble over here guys I just think that we are probably due for a small pullback, but still still bullish on the markets guys I have said that in the in the past and I am going to continue to say that until I get some sort of uh, signal that we are probably going to go lower. Let's take a look at some stocks. Here's Tesla and unquestionably bullish right now. Uh, I heard a little birdie tell me probably around back here that Tesla's a little bit bullish. So if you did let, look at buying some call options or buying some uh, buying a few shares of Tesla back there, you guys are going to be super happy with this right now. I do think we are getting, this is getting a little bit ridiculous. I mean, on the weekly chart, that is one massive, massive trend. Uh, I do think we are probably, I'm definitely not buying up, up here, but I do think we are definitely due for some dip in the market. This is uh, short squeeze 101 here. There is a lot of people getting squeezed out of their trades right here. So just keep that in mind um, what is actually going on in the market. Speaking of short squeezes, I mentioned this one just the other day. Beyond Meat, I, if you go back in my last uh, my reviews a couple uh, last week, I did mention back on this day, this first bullish candle, I said, keep an eye on this one, guys. We had very bullish volume, and we are potentially going to go a lot higher. So a lot of day traders making a lot of money, a lot of gainage on Beyond Meat. We are up, just in the last week, we are up over, well, we did come up over 60 or 70% uh, on Beyond Meat. And we could definitely go high. You can see what happened in this last short squeeze. We kind of went from 100 all the way up to, you know, 240-ish. And then we slowly traded, uh, slowly traded back down. But if you are looking to buy Beyond Meat longer term, probably look to buy on a dip if you didn't get to catch this particular move on this one. Speaking of buying low and selling high, look at this glorious hammer of Thor candle we got today with bullish volume at a support level. Oh my gosh, I never thought this would ever happen. Take a look at that one, guys. We have beautiful resistance level here. Support, 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 resistance. What is going to happen here at this particular level? Who knows? Uh, but right now, I am not looking to be bearish on Dollar Tree. So if you are looking to accumulate some shares of Dollar Tree and you shop there and you love their store. I actually love Dollar Tree. I think it's an amazing store. Great concept. And uh, I think, yeah, I think, they're, I think they are a profitable company. This is a very nice time to start accumulating some shares. We have had a very decent pullback of about, you know, 25%, which is usually when I start to leg in. If you take a look at the monthly chart, we are bouncing off the 50 EMA. And what happened last time? Pretty sure uh, we didn't break down and go lower. Um, so keep that in mind, guys. Dollar Tree at a buying location. Let's take a look at NVIDIA. Now, NVIDIA having a beautiful little gap down today after the nice bullish gap and go uh, yesterday. And, oh, sorry, yesterday being Friday. Yesterday being Friday. And uh, I do think this is probably going to continue a little bit. I do think that once, if this particular bullish candle gets taken out, we'll get a nice little quick sell-off back down to the 10 and a nice little 
bounce action on Nvidia. So keep an eye on that, guys. Nvidia probably will have a small short-term short-term pullback, just like we had here and just like we had here. Nothing overly drastic, but I do definitely think that we are still in a bullish trend on Nvidia. Here's Boeing and. Boeing is at a support level, guys. You can see here, we've been here in the past for the last two years. If you bought shares two years ago and just held them and never sold them back up here at 440, you would be in the exact same position right now. However, I don't think that I don't think that you would have held that long. I think that you most definitely would have taken profits somewhere along the way. But if you are looking at accumulating some shares, now is the time to buy. We've got some increasing volume coming up here. I know we do have earnings coming up just around the corner. Just keep that in mind. We could potentially gap down a lot, especially after a lot of the news with a lot of the airlines, um, you know, being grounded and stuff like that. So Boeing at a very critical level, if we do gap down, I do expect us probably to fade back up higher um, however if we do start to gap out of here especially above the 50 EMA that is going to be bull city let's take a look at the all odds now I did mention that if we were to go above 7,000 we are going to be uh, rocket source right here so we're already at 7100 guys and it's only been three days since we hit 7,000 so we're already up 100 points from there and as you can see we are unquestionably bullish so stay along on the markets guys i have been saying that for a while now cba uh, commonwealth bank is at another resistance level and i do think that eventually we are going to break higher if we do get a nice little gap above this level uh, just keep on staying long guys. I have said that we are going to trade sideways here for about six months probably until February I still do think that's going to happen um, We probably could tra trade sideways a little here for a little bit longer if we get a gap down It's going to be a fade high if we get a gap up. It's probably going to continue. So just bear that in mind on CBA guys um, and stay long Let's take a look at BHB, uh, BHP, another one that is just still in a bullish trend and still going a little bit sideways. If you are looking to buy the dip on this one, I mean, the, the 20 EMA is looking quite nice and probably even the 50 EMA as well. Based off these levels right here, this resistance level here, 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 uh, I do think that this would be a nice buy the dip location. Um, but also, if we do get a gap up above this beautiful double top, pattern right here I do think that we will definitely go higher now last week on Thursday I did mention 5g networks I mentioned it here after I mentioned it right here on this bullish day I said guys this is going to be one that you want to accumulate shares on um, because on the weekly chart uh, sorry not the weekly chart on the monthly chart we were bouncing. Sorry, sorry, it was the weekly chart. On the weekly chart, we were bouncing off the 100 simple moving average on a weekly with critical massive volume. And as you can see here, we are already up 20% from that particular level. So if you did take that trade, 5G is going gangbusters at the moment. We did crack the dollar. And uh, as you can see, guys, we have definitely been a lot higher. So this was a very nice buy low, sell high location. And right now, I do expect us to continue. A lot of people taking profits after that particular gap up. Given it was a retest gap, I do, I, I get that. So as you can see here, if we take a look at the five minute, there was a lot of people taking profits after that particular move here in the first 15 minutes of the day. But after that, guys, we just slowly continue a little bit higher so 5g networks stay long on this one guys there is definitely more to go Let's take a look at another bank now ANZ I have said this is it a buy low uh, buying buying location a buy a buy low sell high location sorry and there is definitely a lot of room to move on this one we do have the 100 simple at 26 25 and as you can see on the shorter term moving averages we are at the 50 EMA the 20 has crossed the 10 and that hasn't happened for since back here um, but now obviously what I do expect to happen on ANZ 
is I do expect a break above the 50 and then another retest of the 50 EMA which is actually the neckline of this beautiful glorious double bottom pattern that we have there so keep an eye on ANZ guys for a long um, as you can see here I'll just draw this for you again on the weekly chart we are back here at a buying low uh, a buying low location as you see here we've also had a, re a resistance level here as well so just a quick reminder guys we are definitely at a very nice buying location and one I haven't actually looked at in a while is Sydney Airport stock and not only bringing in uh, bringing in planes but we're bringing in some gains uh, take a look at this guys we are up over 40 percent on this just this year uh, if you take a look at the uh, 100 simple moving average we have bounced off this just a couple of times uh, so if this has been a stock that you have been following then you would definitely be making some gainage on this one I do think that after this big run that we have had I do think that we'll probably just consolidate for a little bit longer so if you are looking at buying low Probably look to buy off the 100. Seems like a really nice time to buy. Um, but right now, guys, I think a lot of people are just starting to take profits. As you can see here, we are starting to create some lower highs here. Um, so any any break above this particular trend line like that, I do think we will just probably continue. Um, but for the most part, guys, uh, just look to uh, buy low and sell high on this one. Let's take a look at some commodities. Here's US oil and just a massive fall from grace. As you can see here, we are at the 200 simple moving average on the daily chart. I did mention back here that it was probably a good time to start shorting oil. Uh, so if you did get on that train with me, then you guys are absolutely amazing. But right now, I'm going to be fairly neutral, uh, more so neutral to bullish, uh, because I, I do think this was uh, this was a pullback that was expected and we definitely needed it. Uh, we probably could chop around here for a little bit longer and then I just do think that we'll probably ex uh, slowly but surely grind higher on oil. If we do start to close below the 100, uh, I would I would change I would change my thoughts on that. Obviously, I would think we'd go a little bit lower, but for the most part, guys, I'm going to stay long on oil now. Uh, gold is another one you guys want to keep your eyes peeled on. As you can see on the daily chart, we got some beautiful hammerage action right here just yesterday and this is obviously at a previous resistance level so we are getting a little bit of a retest of this of this previous high and if I just go into the hourly chart you can see here we have we have had some very nice consolidations here we did close below the 200 on the hourly chart and on the four hourly chart uh, if, if we if we do get a trade back down to the 100 uh, I do think that would be unquestionably bullish uh, so keep your eyes on gold guys gold is probably at a very nice buying location as well and last but not least is the Aussie dollar now I have mentioned this is I have mentioned that this is probably going to either break out of this break out of this 200 simple moving average pattern and then just go long um, or I said it could potentially just create a nice little head and shoulders pattern we're still right here at the right shoulder as well as this resistance here and this resistance here so right now I'm staying fairly neutral on the Aussie dollar I do think that we probably could trade sideways for a little bit longer and then break higher uh, but we'll just have to wait and see on that one so if you are looking at the Aussie dollar just stay fairly neutral but buy low as buy as low as you possibly can that's all I've got for you guys I hope you enjoyed this review leave a comment in the comment section below if you like this review let me know also if you are a part of our community in face in, in our Facebook group Jeremy is holding a swing trading webinar that is only going to be exclusive to those particular people in the group it's going to be an amazing session it's going to be absolutely incredible you guys do not want to miss it. So if you want to get to get access to that webinar and want to be a part of our community, our amazing community, hop on our Facebook page, get involved, and we will see you at that webinar. That's all I got for you today, guys. And remember, love life, live life, and trade it. I'll see you all on Thursday. Bye.